Okay, so um, welcome back. Uh, that last one was kind of a uh, kind of uh, all over the place, but I want to show you a little bit more about um, selections and um, getting those selections to be the way we want them. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I was doing before, just really quick though. And you can go to the other video. This already has a blue copy, but I'm going to trash that. Make a blue copy. And, um, but here's what I'm going to do. I can modify my, my selections before I even make them a layer mask or anything like that. Um, yeah, I got it. Duplicate right here. So I'm going to control or command click on this icon right here, my blue copy. I'm going to turn all these off. I mean, turn that one on and turn all these, turn that one off and turn all these on. And then, um, the thing is, you may not know that we can modify our selections before we do anything with them. Um, you, you might, you might not. But uh, one of the best ways of doing that is Quick Mask, which is you can get to it by hitting this little icon right here or pressing Q on your keyboard. And Quick Mask shows us what we have done, right? So it showed us that, I'll get out of it, it's, it's shown us that um, we're selecting the sky and since we're selecting the sky, this is basically the black part. So this is what's going to be concealed later on. And um, so if I were to paint with black, I can just paint with black and paint on this mask. It's not going to mess up my photo. It's only going to mess with the selection. Okay, so if I were to grab that, it would have this kind of thing going on with our, our sky selected because it's white. Right, so I'm actually going to command click that and throw that away. I don't want to apply it because that would mess up my photo. But anyway, so our quick mask. Um, so one of the things we can do is just come in here and paint on it. Not even painting, we don't even have the layer mask or anything like that yet. But I can have my black set on my brush and. 100% opacity, and you, can, and you can kind of see that this church right here is getting selected, and that means that when I replace my sky, that will be um, it will be taken out with the sky. And actually, this selection kind of is not as dark as it should be because I haven't turned the contrast up on it. Let me just see. I haven't actually done this before, but I you can. See how what I was doing before with the um, adding the contrast? So it's making this more black, or it's in this case more red. But, so basically like that, I can, uh, let me get out of quick mask mode. And then uh, I could do that whole thing with our, with our layer masking and all sorts of stuff like that and add more contrast later, which right now it looks really weird because I um, inverted, I need to invert that, there we go, that looks better. Um, so we can add the contrast in the quick mask mode, right, so I'm going to make, an, this is our selection again, and um, I'm just showing you, this is, this is how it starts out. I'll show you, let me show you a, a, kind of an easier, um, an easier representation of it. If I draw a box out here, a, uh, yeah, it's a box of a selection. We can actually go into our quick mask and as you can see the box is in here and uh, the box is basically white. We really think of this as white and this is black just like in the um, layer masks. But um, So what I can do is paint if I want to. Say I wanted to paint a, a um, just a line straight through it. I click and then I would shift click just like that, straight line. It's not s straight, it's not level, but now I would get out of my quick mask mode and then as you can see it's modified my um, selection actually. So if I were to do the whole command J thing and just so basically it, you can see that I selected just that much and that's how much got like that. And um, Ooh, my uh, timer went off. That was really weird. Um, 
But so anyway, that's how we can modify those with the quick mask, and it, it, it doesn't work if you don't have any selection going. So um, let me go back to that, the whole box thing again. Right, so if I go into quick mask mode, I can also do filters like blur, right, um, our good old Gaussian blur, which is probably the most used blur there is. And I could uh, totally blur this selection and uh, get out of quick mask mode and then copy it. As you can see, we have this uh, thing with our blurred selection here. Which is kind of cheesy. I don't really like it when people do that. Um, but anyway, so that's how we do that. And I'm going to go ahead and get this selection back from our blue channel. And I'm going to modify it. Um, well, first I'm going to go into my my quick mask mode again. I'm going to do what I, like like what I was saying earlier. You can do this with curves any way that uh, brings contrast to your image. And as we can see, I want to be kind of careful. Oops. Okay. I want to be kind of careful in here. And I'm just pressing down my spacebar and and dragging on the image right here. So we can kind of mess around with how dark this image will get. So this is actually kind of affecting the sky, but that's all right. So there's our selection, just like that. And see how this is selecting stuff we don't want, like this fence here and the church here, just like I said. I can grab my brush tool on black and just paint those out. That's an easier way. Anyway, so now um, there's another thing that we can do to make our selections more accurate and also preview our selections before we um, use them. So that way we'll know how it's going to look. And this is kind of kind of uh, something somebody emailed me about about not emailed but whatever um, about modifying the selections. So, we, we can actually come in here and we're going to take the default which is like zero. Right? So this is the refine edge feature. Uh, I forgot to mention that. Refine edge and you'll see it on any selection tool and um, basically you click refine edge right here and you can turn the preview on and off and all that sorts of stuff. But basically I'm going to hit default turn down all this stuff and what this is showing me is exactly what we are selecting here and there's a, a bunch of different ways of um, showing it. That's like the quick mask one that's like a normal selection so basically this shows me that this is selected or I could do like black and white and, um, and then I can actually kind of modify these later on so I'm trying to find the best one here. But we can modify them with like radius and it does other other types of stuff like that. But I just wanted to really just make you aware that it's in here. And this is where we can feather stuff and uh, all sorts of other things like contract and expand. I'm going to cancel out of this. But I'm going to show you, say I made a layer mask just like this. And once again that's kind of messed up because it's selecting the wrong stuff. Our, foreground should be selected, our sky should be black because we don't want the sky. So I'm just going to invert that once again. And that doesn't look too bad. What I would actually do is grab my brush. See all this stuff right here? We want that to be completely white. So I just grab my brush, hit X to make it white, switch switch my uh, foreground and background, shift uh, right bracket to make it right, this thing a little bit harder. And I would just do it just like that, kind of. And that looks all right. Um, there is a little bit of blue, I think, in the sky still. But, um, yeah, so that's how I could do that. And let me just show you. If I were to command click on this one again, I could uh, get a selection. Let's say I didn't like this anymore. I deleted it. Now, I can come in here and do that refine edge feature again. Fine edge. That's my timer telling me that I'm out of time. But uh, refine edge, and I can 
you know, do all sorts of crazy crap on it. Um, so basically, that's that's how it goes. So, yeah, and you can see th this stuff down here will be affected. If I were to uh, contract my selection or whatever, it would change my selection before I even messed with it. So that's how you do that, and I just wanted to make you aware that there are ways of fixing selections before you even do them, and all sorts of stuff like that. And um, yeah, so use the refine edge because you can preview everything before you do it. Thanks. Bye.